Hello and welcome to the video where I'll show you how to set up a Zoom meeting where you can share documents and video online. I'll also take you through all of the main settings so you'll be comfortable with your meeting. So in terms of kit, I have a Windows 10 laptop and an iPhone here and I have the two so you can see the end-to-end -end connection. I'll be doing the setup on the Windows laptop just here um, and as a note on the iPhone I have installed the Zoom web conferencing app. I downloaded that from the App Store and that is what you can see on the phone now. So let's go to the laptop and what we'll do first is go to zoom.us. This is the homepage for Zoom. Now, once you come here, um, it will ask you to sign up for a free account. Um, just a, a note on accounts. If you're just joining a meeting, you don't need an account, but if you want to host a meeting, you do. Um, Assuming you want to host a meeting, click on sign up for free. Um, it will ask you for your email address. Um, it will then send you a confirmation email, an activation email to that email address. So you just go to your email, activate it. It will ask you a few more questions uh, on the Zoom site, such as your name, setting up a password, etc. And then you will have a Zoom account. I've already done that, so I'm skipping that step. Um, so let's go to host a meeting. When I hover over it, it gives us a couple of options and you can start with video off, with video on, or screen share only. I'm going to go with video off and you can change any of these options in the settings. So you can see it's just fired up another page and ignore this top bit for a second. Um, what you'll most likely see is an option here asking you to download and run Zoom. We want to do that. Um, it's a small file to uh, download. It's the Zoom app. Um, so please download that and run. I already have done so and I will just click open Zoom. And in a few seconds, we'll see a window. In fact, two windows appear and the first window is asking to join with computer audio. Before we do that, let's just test the speaker and microphone. Zoom provides this test. So if I click this and it's testing the speaker, do you hear a ringtone? Yes, I do. So that's fine. And that's it's testing fine. the microphone. In the microphone. Speak and pause. Do you hear a reply? Speak and pause. Do you hear a reply? Yes. So speaker and microphone look good. Great. So we'll join with computer audio. And we click it again. You are using the computer audio. So this slightly squished screen is the main uh, pre-setup, almost like a pre-stage window. Um, let's just run through the settings here. Um, it has a meeting topic, a host, the password for the meeting, the numeric telephone room system uh, password, the invitation URL. Now this is what you would send to your colleagues and I'll show you another way you can get this and the password in, in one fell swoop. And you have a participant ID here, which you won't really need to use to be honest. Um, we have the uh, little padlock here, which just lets you know it's encrypted. If you click on this little eye button, it just gives you some more information, including the meeting ID, which you can also see at the top of the screen here. Um, just uh, an invitation URL and participant ID again. Uh, come down to the bottom. You can see the microphone is currently live. You can see the green moving around there. If I press it, it mutes it. If I press the arrow beside it, you get an option to select a microphone if you have more than one. And again, select speakers if you have more than one. Here you can select your or start your video, your webcam. And again, if you press the little chevron, if you have more than one camera or you want to go into your video settings, you can do so from there. Okay, we move along to the invite button. And if we click this, it gives us an option to send an invitation using one of these email services. Now, if you use one such as Hotmail, don't worry. You can copy the invitation or copy the URL and go to your email. I'm going to show you in Notepad for this example. And you can come here, you can right click and you can paste. And you can send this to your colleagues so they can join the meeting. And it just has the URL, the meeting ID and the password. And I'll be entering the meeting ID and the password into the phone shortly so you can see how that works. So let's just uh, close that off for the second. Um, next up we have manage participants. So when you're in the meeting, you'll see who is um, down the left-hand side here. Um, sorry, right-hand side. Uh, that's myself as the host. 
and you can toggle off the camera and toggle sorry toggle the mic and toggle the camera from here as well you can press this button here this little arrow and you can close that window you can open it again you can press it and you can pop the window out if you so wish if you want to maximize that so you can see uh, in a little bit more detail who's in the meeting you can do that um, at the bottom here there's a more button and here you can have a little bit of control um, in terms of people joining the meeting you can mute all the participants on entry uh, this is useful so you know people join and they may have screaming kids or the radio on in the background it won't interrupt your meeting so that's that's um, a choice you can make I'll just turn that on for a second uh, you can allow participants to unmute themselves allow participants to rename themselves play enter or exit chime I find that quite useful but again it depends how many people are coming into the meeting you can lock the meeting so no one else can join and you can merge to meeting window so this will just take this um, window which I've uh, maximized and just put it back dock it to the right hand side again and if I want to close it just manage participant like so so we also have a share screen uh, which we'll come to in a minute and we have chat so if you want to have a conversation uh, you can use the chat setting there and I'll show you that actually when we are in a call um, you also have record so you can record the meeting if you so wish always a nice idea to let the people know you're recording as well just just out of uh, courtesy okay so let's get into um, starting a screen share so if I click screen share or share screen um, we have a couple options we have screen and this will share the entire desktop so um, one thing to be just aware of for yourself if you have email alerts coming through or messages um, anything that you know pops up near the taskbar these will be shown on your screen so just turn off notifications if you're concerned about um, something personal coming through so what I did there was just click on um, share desktop so you can see everything uh, the viewers the colleagues uh, in the meeting will be able to see everything on the screen so I think the best thing at this point is to join the meeting so let's get the iPhone in involved here I have a meeting ID and what I'm going to do is go across to the iPhone uh, this button says join a meeting and it asks here for meeting ID so I'm going to type that in five two zero eight two five three six zero three like so uh, this is a name uh, which will show up. It's called iPhone. You can change that to your name or whatever you wish. You can see here it says uh, it's trying to join. Uh, please enter your meeting password, which is just on the screen there. And I'm just typing that in a B capital S. Okay. Continue. Okay. And that says... Connecting, you heard that doorbell. That just alerts me that someone's joining the meeting. So that's useful. Um, it says on the, on the phone here, to hear others, please join audio. So this will allow me to hear others from the meeting. I'm currently muted, so it's not going to transfer any sound. So we don't have feedback. Right, so as uh, I was saying, if I share the desktop, you can see everything. If you look on the phone, you can see everything that is happening on the screen. So I'm going to mute, mute that, sorry, minimize that for a second. And um, let me just show you a couple of other options when it comes to sharing applications on your desktop. If you go to new share and you can go to whiteboard and you can just have a whiteboard where you can draw pictures or, you know, diagrams, uh, there's stamps where you can place a heart, you can put a tick, usual sort of thing. Uh, that you'd expect from a, 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 a paint type application you can save the application it saved it and you can go to the folder where it saved it and you could perhaps forward this on at the end of the meeting and um, at the end you can just close the tab and close the window um, it's, that's actually stop the share but that's not a worry it doesn't if you stop a share it doesn't end the meeting it just temporarily stops the share you can see on the iPhone um, it just puts a silhouette type body there. So that was the whiteboard. Um, what I'll show you as well is if you want to show just a document, and I want to show 
just this document here, which is the Zoo, sorry, which is a uh, Word document. So I'm gonna click share on that. And you can see the share has come back up on the iPhone there. So they will only see this application. So I can type away here, it will show up on the iPhone. If I pull up another document, they won't be able to see that because I'm only sharing the Word document on this occasion. So that is how that works. Um, now, if I want to pause sharing, I can do that. And that will allow me a bit of time. Let's just say I wanted to update a document. I wanted to do something behind the scenes. Um, you can see I've typed in update here on the computer. It doesn't show on the iPhone. If I then go to resume the share, you can see it says update on the phone as well. So that's how you do that. So let's just take a, a look here. Um, this drop down, um, it's just basically the in meeting management. It's very similar to the buttons which were at the bottom earlier. Um, we have the mute, unmute, we have the video, we have the manage participants, and now we have two participants and I can uh, choose to whoop, click more and I can chat with them. Um, I can say hello, and if you keep an eye on the iPhone, you can see a message just pop up from the at the uh, bottom of the phone. So that was a message directly to the iPhone. If there were more than, well, in fact, if there's more than one person, you can say to everyone in the meeting, and you can say hello to everybody, and everybody will receive that message. Let's click on more again, and you can make this person the host. You can rename them if you want to give them a, their real name. You can put them on hold or you can remove them. So those are the main options in terms of chat. So if we go back up to the uh, top again, oh, let's come out of there. We've done share, we've done pause, we have annotate. So very similar to what you saw before, this allows us to draw on the document itself. Um, and we can save that and it saved it. Now don't worry, it doesn't uh, actually destroy the underlying document. It's it's uh, literally like a, a layer. It's a, an image in its own right. Um, when you're done, you can just close this and it will clear whoop, the document. Let's just put that back, undo, undo, like so. And then we can close it. And then you're back to your document as it was. Um, finally, there's more, which uh, holds chat. You can invite more people, record, disable participants' annotations, uh, show names of annotators, hide floating meeting controls, if you want to hide this whole bar here, uh, share the computer sound. And this is an important one. If you are playing, say for example, a little YouTube video or a video on your computer, and you want them to hear the sound as well, you'll need to share your computer sound. So just make sure that is clicked upon if you want to do that. And you also have optimized share for a full screen video clip. Um, so that's basically it. Once you want to stop sharing, you can just click on stop share. Um, if you want to end the meeting, you can just come down to here and end meeting. That will knock everybody off. That will finish everything. Um, let me just show you from the iPhone. If I want to say, let's try and bring this a bit closer so you can see. Whoop. I'm going to drop it. If you click on the iPhone, you get some options at the bottom. And you can see, hopefully, you can do unmute. You can do start video. You can share content if you want to share your screen the iphone screen you can uh, check who the participants are like so let's close that and then you have some more options over here where you can check the chat uh, virtual background raise hand disconnect audio and then you can just cancel that as well so what i'll do just so you can see video i'm just going to enable the start video here there we go and that is um showing the video on screen there and if i had my video my video would be here as well so it's just to show you how the video uh, window will pop up you have an option here to hide the thumbnail video you can show a small 
um, basically the active speaker or you can have them layered up so you have a have a few options there um, on how you can display now if you click here these three little uh, buttons the ellipsis you can unmute my audio start the video if i want rename hide non-video participants hide self view so i hope that's uh, been useful to you um, again you can just unmute the video unmute audio stop video chat rename pin video make host remove or put on hold so these, these are some options you can do just to control uh, from here so that's basically it i'm going to stop the video on the phone like so there we go and finally what i will do is just stop the meeting from here and i will end the meeting in the bottom right hand corner end meeting for all and that completes the meeting so i hope you found that useful um, if you have please give me a, a thumbs up uh, just lets me know it's working for you makes me happy to know that uh you know my stuff's being used and whatnot so um yeah i wish you best of luck and uh let's all stay safe and i wish you a great day ahead thanks a lot bye